Hello, you guys. So, me and Joel are currently at this new mall. Actually, is it new? No, this is not a new mall. Okay. Very old mall. It's very old One mall. of the oldest in BC. Who was saying, I thought you were saying something about it being new. <laughs> I think they just added some new stuff. I'm just joking. It's not the oldest in BC. Oh. <laughs> but it's like huge. It's a North Van if you're from the area. Yeah, so we're just going to kind of browse around. I mean, it closes in two hours because it's Sunday today. So, it's kind of, it closes a little early. But we just came here to do something on a Sunday, you know, come out, enjoy the sunny day. In the mall. In the mall. Well, no, it's... I thought it was like an outdoor, indoor kind of thing. But yeah, so we're just gonna go explore and hopefully not actually have like some, we'll see. <laughs> this is the fit. I'm wearing my new um, Aritzia Divinity rubber, I think it's called. I'm obsessed with this color. Um, and then just with this sweater to kind of make it more casual and then a black hat to match the black purse. But yeah, it's actually really nice outside and it's kind of hot. It's like 20 degrees Celsius, so it's kind of nice, but the perfect one. Yeah, it is honestly the perfect temperature because it's like perfect May weather for me. guys i'm so obsessed with these like little side tables i can see them in our bedroom the only thing is that they don't have storage but they're so cute and it would be like a little bit of a statement piece which i love i don't know kind of tempted like that's so cute okay so we just finished shopping we didn't buy anything it was more just like something to do because this store this mall was like indoor outdoor it's actually such a nice day so we were just kind of browsing around going through the stores joel tried on some really expensive jewelry um he tried on like a twenty thousand dollar chain at first i thought it said 2100 and then um i was like oh and then the lady was like no twenty one thousand. and i was like oh Let's... Try to get the racks up a little more before we spend on that. Yeah, I was like, oh, $20,000 <laughs> chain. Now it's a little yeah. bit much. And then he found one that was like $8,000 that he really liked. But we, yeah, we didn't buy it. We didn't buy anything. No. It's funny because last year for our anniversary, we came to the to a restaurant right here. And it was literally our anniversary like two days ago. And we came here again not for our anniversary but like we're just like we were like holy shit like that's so funny how we just randomly came here a year later when we haven't been here in a year um it's just weird but two days ago was me and joel's fifth year anniversary which is crazy like we've been together for five years that's actually kind of insane when you really think about it like five years actually it's not that crazy but it's kind of crazy like that's a long time anyways we're kind of stuck in traffic because it's just so busy getting out of this mall and like to get back onto the bridge it's just so busy so this is like a really rich area like we saw two rolls voices and like every single car here is like nice it's crazy the apartments here are probably like i'm gonna guess that goes for like three million for an apartment probably i wouldn't be shocked at all Oh my god, they had Urban Outfitters here? Oh. I didn't even realize. Oh no, I totally would have loved that. Would've to go that would have gone hard. Oh, I want to go. Oh. So that, Where do we park though? Oh, we got the park. Just the parking situation here is and really like annoying. the traffic to get out where already like. Oh no. No, I'm so sad. I know, fuck. How I did we know. not see that? That takes this mall to another level now. It does. There's literally two Urban Outfitters in Vancouver. There's one here and then there's one in downtown and that's it. But yeah, I think we're just gonna go home now, have a chill night, probably watch the rest of this movie. We were watching this Netflix documentary last night and it was so messed up. I think it's called Our Father. It's so messed up. We went to bed so early. We fell asleep like halfway through the movie. It was like only 11.30 and we were so tired. Um, and my sister slept over so she just fell asleep first and then after that Joel fell asleep and then I was falling asleep. So I was like, yeah, we'll just watch the rest tomorrow. Good morning guys, it is currently 9 o'clock and I have to kind of be in and out of the gym today because I have a fitting and a COVID test 
for the film industry at 11.30, so I wanna go back home, shower, and then go back out. So I'm kind of on a time crunch here, but I wanted to turn on the camera because I wanna take um, this matcha shot with you guys. It's such a freaking gloomy day outside today. Like I woke up and I could barely see outside of our windows because it was so like cloudy and rainy, and it's just, ugh, like I just want the sun back. Okay, anyways, let's take this, give myself a little boost of energy before the gym. That was so good. I also brought a cliff bar, but I don't know if that's going to sit well in my stomach before I work out. Like right now, it's kind of early for that. Anyways, let's go have a bomb ass workout, even though it is ugh, like so gloomy. I just want the summer. Honestly, I know I keep saying that. It gets repetitive, but I feel like these vlogs are also getting repetitive. I'm just going to the gym, going to my house, going back to the gym. Like, is this getting repetitive for you guys or do you like seeing my day to day things? Let me know, please, because I need I need to know. If you guys are liking these everyday kind of vlogs or if you don't like them and you want me to switch it up. I personally like doing the everyday type of vlogs just because like that's my life. But I don't know. Let me know your opinion. Let's go. I just got out of my fitting. I After the gym, I rushed home. Took a shower. I thought I was gonna have time to like make a smoothie and everything, but I didn't. I lost my phone. You know when you're like finding clothes and then you like put your phone down and you, it might be like hidden in your closet. And I was like freaking out before I left because I'm like, oh my god, where's my phone? Like I need it to get to the address because I don't know where I'm going. Anyways, ended up like rushing here. I got here on time, which is fine, but I was just like stressing out a little bit. And I, they ended up making me wait for my fitting anyway, so it was like whatever. But yeah, so just got the fitting done. Now I'm just gonna go back home and make my protein smoothie because I didn't have time to do that. But I am glad that I went to the gym before I did this because it's just nicer that I kind of got it done. And now I get to go home, make some food because I'm hungry, do some editing probably today. I can't keep on losing you. just cut up some yams and I made them into fries. I put garlic powder, oil, I just used the avocado oil spray that I had with salt and garlic powder and paprika. Um, this is two yams. I kind of overestimated it because I bought three and this is like a huge one. So I thought that like this would make a full tray, like three yams, but I guess two yams is a lot. So I'm just gonna keep that in the fridge for next time. But yeah, so excited. I was gonna go grocery shopping, but then I realized may as well just use up what I have first because I did have the yams and the chicken, so. You guys, I have so much to update you on. So these past two nights, like I haven't been filming or past two days, I haven't been filming at all just because I had two night shoots in a row for film industry. I'm so tired. I got home last night, well, last yesterday, this morning, sorry at like 5-ish a.m. the and then the night before that I got home at like 6 30 a.m. so like I am dead so I am I'm just like kind of out of it like I don't even it's Sunday today so I worked the weekend and now everything just feels really off because usually like the weekend is my rest day but I just took this because I was like whatever like it's good money and like I didn't want to pass it up and like it was fun but now I'm just kind of disoriented because I didn't really get a weekend. So tomorrow I'm definitely just gonna chill on the couch and edit. That's basically all that I wanna do tomorrow just because I am tired 
and I didn't get a weekend to just like reset, you know, like I usually do. But anyway, so this morning I woke up because we were meeting, first of all, Okay, we went to Ikea, because you guys know how I want to do the room transformation video, and like I'm trying to get be uh, furniture for our bedroom, I'm trying to do our bedroom, but oh my goodness, Ikea is literally out of everything. They have like no stock right now, and so like the bed frames that we wanted, they were out of stock. It was just really annoying because they had nothing in stock basically, like at anything that we wanted. And so I looked on Facebook Marketplace to buy the bed frame that we wanted secondhand. So I found it and I was like, perfect. And I messaged the guy and I was like, because obviously I'm not going to buy something on Facebook Marketplace if it's like bad condition. Because I obviously still want it to look nice, but I don't care if it's like secondhand. Like I really don't care as long as it's like in good condition. So I messaged him and I was like, hey, like I'm interested. Is it, is there any marks or scratches on it? Is it like new condition? I was asking him about it. And he's like, no, there's no, he's like, it's like new condition. And then I asked him again, I was like, is there any marks and scratches on it? And he's like, no. And I was like, okay, like perfect, I'll take it. And then in the description, he said that he would do delivery. And I kind of needed to do delivery just because I didn't know if it would fit, like the parts would fit in my car. So just to be safe, I was like, okay, I'll pay for the delivery. And so he met us this morning and he took the, he took the bed pieces out and it was all like marked up and there was literally like scratches like picked off the wood. And I was like, I was like, um, I asked you if there was any marks or scratches and you said no, like I asked you twice. And then he was like, oh no, you can just like wipe it off. And I was like, no, like this is like, the wood was like chipped off, like the paint. And I was like, I asked you if there was any marks or scratches and you said no. And then he's like, to each their own opinion. And I was like, what do you mean? Like it's, it's, there's marks or scratches on it or there's not. I felt bad, honestly, wasting his time that he drove there here to us. But at the same time, like I asked him prior to him coming, if there was any marks or scratches, the condition of the bed and he lied to me. So I don't know what he was thinking and if he thought that I would just not notice, but there was literally smears of like, I don't know what on it, like dirt or something. And they were like, wouldn't rub off. He's like, oh, you can just rub that off. I was like, you told me there was no marks on it. Like what? And I was trying to like rub it off with my finger, it wouldn't come off. And I was like, okay, like, like what? I was like, I, we're not gonna take it. He's like, I'll give you $10 off. I was like, you like, I'm not gonna take this for $10 off when I'm paying $200 for this. To get it brand new, it's $230. And I paid $200 for it to be used and delivered, which was fine, because I was like just happy that I was getting it. And he just offered me $10 off when the, I can buy the bed brand new for $30 more. Anyways, I mean, it was just like really sketchy how he lied to me. It's like, if you're gonna put something on Facebook Marketplace, don't lie about it because when people come to see it in person, it's you're gonna reveal the truth, you know? So it's so dumb and like, I don't know, that wasn't our fault at all for turning him away, like him driving there. That was his fault for lying to me because I did ask. So that was kind of frustrating because I thought we were gonna get a bed frame and now I just don't know what to do. Anyways, it's fine. The bedroom will happen eventually when it's supposed to and it's all fine. It's just like frustrating. Like why are people lying out here? Like why do you feel the need to lie when I'm gonna see it in person? Like it just doesn't make sense. But anyways, so that happened this morning. Joel for the past like few days got food poisoning somehow like I don't know we don't know really where he got it from exactly because food poisoning can take a while to kick in so you never really know and so he he's been like sick he's getting like a lot better now so he's like fine but he had food, food poisoning for like a couple days and he still feels like shitty so right now I'm on the way to my sister's house my older sister's house her and her boyfriend they broke up and they live together so we are going to go move her out. I'm gonna go help pack her stuff. She's not moving until next week, but she just asked if we can help her like pack because she just had moved into like a new place. And so now she has to move again. It was so funny how it worked out because we were looking for places uh, for her to rent because she needs to find a new place to live now. And an apartment came up in my building 
and she went to go check it out with like a friend because they're gonna be roommates now like it was like it's she's like a mutual friend between like literally basically my whole family like everybody knows her she's also looking to get an apartment and so and the prices here are just so expensive it's really hard to live somewhere like by yourself because things here are just so unaffordable it's crazy so they're gonna be roommates and they actually found an apartment in my building and it literally all posted the day that her and her boyfriend broke up so it was like meant to be and they viewed the place they loved it and yeah so they're moving my sister's moving into my building which is kind of like crazy but like nice because right now I'm like a half hour drive away from her so it would be it's gonna be nice to be like kind of like living next door like we're neighbors so that's gonna be fun but yeah so that's my little life update sorry if that was really long just so many things have been happening these past few days and it's just been crazy and I'm kind of out of it right now because of like I stayed up these past two nights and have gotten barely any sleep so I'm a little bit out of it and I know I'm gonna have such a good sleep tonight I'm gonna just chill tomorrow keep it chill relaxed um, but yeah I was thinking I was like I don't even know what date is anymore like it's it's Sunday but like I was kind of confused for a second because it's just weird anyways yeah, that was my little update. I'm just on the way to Brittany, my older sisters right now. And yeah, thank you for listening. I love you guys so much.